Hey golf people, it is time to unveil the new SC4 from Swing Caddy. This could be the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro Killer, but there is one major issue with this device, which we will explore today. So let's talk about why I'm excited for the SC4. Right when you unbox this thing, you can see the quality and see the time and effort put into not only the packaging, but to the design of this unit. Great ergonomic design. On the backside, you've got a remote that magnetically attaches to the device, making it very simple to change clubs, to change the volume, and to make some other setting changes without having to bend over or look at your phone. So absolutely love the design of this thing. It's got exceptional battery life, much like its predecessor. It's got both audio and a visual display to it, so it makes it super friendly and very quick to get the data that you care about. The connectivity of this thing is so super easy. Literally, you open the app, you hit the Bluetooth button, connect this thing, and you are up and running. It's miles ahead of the SC300i, which I used to have to fiddle with. The app itself has a beautiful user interface. The data is easy to navigate, and it has some next level data. All of this is only $549, and there's absolutely no subscription necessary. And what I think is most exciting is that for this price, you're going to have simulator capabilities via third-party apps such as E6. That is still not built into it as of me making this video, but Voice Caddy promises that will happen very soon. So many things to like about this thing, but like I said, there is an issue. Let's get into the testing and I'll explain. Now guys, if you are considering buying the SC4 or any of the launch monitors that we cover here on Let's Play Through, highly recommend you do that at Playbetter. Dot com. Now something really exciting that you may not know about is Playbetter and I have teamed up to put together a launch monitor survey where you can get advice straight from me and Playbetter on what the best recommended device for you will be. I've got a link down below in the description. It's very simple to fill out, show us what you need, and we're gonna give you an answer with our recommendations. Playbetter.com, I've also got a link down below to buy the SC4 down there as well. All right, as you can see here, I've got the Swing Caddy loaded up on screen. We're gonna go into practice mode. I've got the unit set up five feet behind me and that is one huge advantage of this SC4 is you don't need a massive amount of room space comparatively with most Doppler devices. For instance, the Rapsodo, you need to be six and a half to eight and a half feet behind. With the Mevo Plus, you need to be more like eight feet behind. So with this, only needing to sit with, within five feet, you basically need a room space of about 14 feet in length to make this work. I've got about nine feet to the screen from where I'm at. Five feet behind me, that's 14 feet. You could probably get away with only eight feet to the screen, but the more room to the screen you've got, the better. All right, so 14 feet, basically the minimum dimension. All right, I am going to get a glove on and start hitting a couple of shots here. And what we've got here is my Bushnell Launch Pro to let us know how accurate this is. So what you see up on screen and what I call out to you is going to be the Bushnell Pro numbers. We're gonna start off here with a nine iron. And again, I'm just gonna use my remote. I'm gonna hit uh, the iron button a couple times just to cycle through till I get to I9. It makes it really simple. I don't have to bend over, don't have to hit anything on screen. And uh, we're gonna hit a shot. We'll see if this thing registers. Again, what you see up on screen is the Launch Pro. The SC4 is there on the right of your screen. First shot. Pretty central, at least on the Launch Pro. 126 yards. And it's great to get the visual and audible feedback there. I've got the visual on screen and I've got the audible that you can hear there. All right, this is uh, GS Pro is what I'm running here with my Bushnell Launch Pro, the carry 127.6. Here on the uh, SC4, we've got 126.6, so that's within one yard. Total 140, total here 131. Now the voice caddy there showed that it went off to the left and that may be an alignment issue, so we'll see if we fix that. The spin rate 8350, which is high, versus 6274, which I think that is probably a little bit closer. Let me make an adjustment here. All right, second shot here again, pitching wedge. Another pretty good strike, pretty central. There on the Launch Pro. 128 yards. So again, we're seeing it just a little left of target on the Launch Pro and 
maybe it's exaggerated here, but def definitely just a little left of target there on the SC4, 128.6 carry versus 129.9 carry. That looks really good. 133 in terms of total versus 141. So the spin number again there at 8440 is considerably different from what I'm seeing on my screen here at 6775. I'm gonna switch over to a seven iron and see what happens. I've got uh, my remote here changing to a seven iron on screen. And while I do this, another thing that I'm gonna show you is that this has a video mode built into it. So you can literally record your swings here. And I'm gonna actually turn my camera and uh, get this into a good spot. All right, here we go. It makes this tripod does make this really handy. So now we've got a down the line view of our swing. And what's nice is just like the SC300i, the Swing Caddy SC4 is going to automatically record shots. It's gonna know when you pull the trigger and then you're gonna get a nice video playback. All right, seven iron here. Another pretty good strike there. 144.9 carry with the Bushnell Launch Pro, 144.6 with the Swing Caddy. We've got total 159 versus a total of, where is that? Number 156.7. My swing speed there, 79.8. And swing speed, 79.9. So that's very accurate. The only thing different again here is the spin number. And 5450 is about where I hit my seven iron. So the swing caddy is definitely reading about now a little over 2000, maybe 2200 RPMs high. And that's affecting that rollout number. So carry wise, very, very accurate. Spin wise seems to be high. But let me show you how that video works again. So what you can do is you can go back into your video files. This isn't the exact swing, but what you can do is look at it. You've got the shot data there and you can export this, send it to a coach. So a really nice feature there. Now, another feature you're gonna love here and something that's really missing from the MLM2 Pro is going to be this launch data. You can see the uh, launch direction was pretty straight there. It was a very good strike. Uh, but what we'll try to do here is I'm gonna try to fade one and we'll see how that changes things just to make sure that we're getting accurate data. But that looks pretty good to me. You've got all the metrics there, but here you're getting a little bit better in terms of launch angle, 23.8. You're getting just a few more statistics there to really see how the impact of that club face coming through the ball looked like. So I'm gonna hit a fade here, like I said, and this is going to change things. Oh yeah. Nice fade. 138, 138 yards. And just as expected, a fade shot is going to not travel as far. And again, they're dead on. 138.0, 138.1 here on the Swing Caddy SC4. 151 total versus 137. And again, the discrepancy there is spin. 77.50 versus 57.75. So early results here. That is the one thing that looks like Voice Caddy is going to have to take a look at, and that's gonna be really important to you guys. Indoors, which is tough for Doppler devices, and again, the fact that this does not have dots on the ball or any kind of RCT balls to get accurate carry numbers, that is really promising, but we've gotta get the spin right. All right, we're gonna take out the big stick here, guys, and this is where Doppler devices often underreport yardage with higher swing speeds and with the woods in your bag for the most part. We saw that with the R10, which has since been fixed with the addition of the RCT ball update as well as Awesome Golf. I've got a video on that if you wanna check it out. But uh, oftentimes, these Doppler devices under-report yardage. Let's see how it does here with the big stick. So far, so good in terms of carry, but can we get that spin right? Push that one off to the right, guys. 216 yards. On screen, we've got 219.3 with the SE4216. So again, real close there, 235 to 229. That's within reason. But again, that spin number, 2575, which I would think would be pretty right knowing this club, versus 4390. Again, just under-reporting the spin. I'm gonna take one more shot, give it one more chance. Better in terms of direction. 227 yards. So we got 227 carry out of the SE4 versus 216 with the 
Bushnell Launch Pro. I actually think the SC4 might be better there because I thought I hit that pretty well in the center. 246 with the rollout versus 240, so that's pretty close. But again, spin number there, 4290 versus 1975. That's a massive, massive difference. So wrapping things up here with the SC4, I think this thing has a lot of promise, but they've got to tweak the software here. We've got to get the simulation added. When that happens, we'll see E6 and a couple of other third-party apps that you can choose from. But most importantly, we've got to get the spin right here indoors at least with the SC4. In terms of design, portability, build quality, it's fantastic. That's five out of five. Again, I love that remote that just clips right in there magnetically. If we talk about the app, again, five out of five in terms of the visualizations, the user interface of this thing, how the data is organized. I think it's a really, really strong product. So Voice Caddy, we just gotta get that spin right. And I think we're going to have a great device on our hands. Guys, let me know what you think down there in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for launch monitors this year, here's a couple other ones you're gonna to wanna to consider depending on your budget. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe and I'll catch you back real soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.